If you have a link to this, I can invite a couple people in from Twitter. Thank you very much. Oh, professional. Yeah. All right, we're going to change scenes here. We're going to go live. So Oops. we're looking at the game Capia. And we're talking to Anna. Hello. So, hi, Anna. Anna, you are the, okay, if we would give you a title, it would be lead. Mm, it, lead. it would be... A Go ahead, lead? you tell me. I, I no, I can't take the lead. I mean, I'm working with my husband. It wouldn't sound right. I, I title myself as 50% of the development team. Okay, but can your, <laughs> can your husband do graphics? Yes, he can. Oh, no <laughs> kidding. Kidding. Okay, right. Yes. <laughs> well, it's not his prime primary, but he was the one who taught me that originally. Uh, do you critique his, his, or does he critique you? Uh, we critique each other, yeah. That uh, happens quite often. So I guess you can't carry the lead title. We'll just call it co no. co leader. Co leader, <laughs> yes, I like that. Co leader. <laughs> so it why don't works. we let's um let's talk a little bit um about the history of the game. How how did the concept come about? Concept? Oh, we've been working on it forever. I think <laughs> it was. I mean, we wanted to make our own game from the very beginning of our career. And uh, we've been just thinking about, you know, how, what we want to do, how we want to do it. And uh, copy just, you know, it just grew on us. And it started from a dream and it started from us uh, visiting Latvia and it just appeared, I guess. Wasn't it a point and click in the beginning? It is still uh, somewhat, I mean, uh, you can play it as point and click or uh, you can play it from uh, the controller. Yeah. It works either way, so um, it it's an adventure game. I mean, that's probably the best way to describe it. Right. So, I mean, it, it's taken on a, lo a new look and feel from when I originally saw it two years oh, ago. Oh, oh, it did, it did. Yeah. Um, more so from the very beginning. I mean, well, from the very beginning, we only had a controller and then we added point and click in it. But we always wanted to do that. I mean, it was kind of a plan, but we started from controller. Right. Good morning, Rob. We got Rob joining us in the lobby. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah. So definitely, people, some interest here. We're gonna show off the game. We're just kind of getting to know Anna and her husband and the. So who who else worked on this game? A lot of voice actors. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of musicians. Actually, three of them. And. Uh, I like how it turned out. I mean, we uh, used a lot of international actors and uh, a lot of international musicians. And since we are both kind of living international lives, I think that's what the copy is all about. Yeah. So, you want to give credit to any of them? Oh, Mikhail, uh, Thomas, and uh, Philip, they worked great. They did a wonderful job on music. Um, primary soundtracks were written by Thomas. Uh, and uh, I think he did a wonderful job. I mean, he's so romantic and uh, it gives us, uh, you know, um, our game this romantic feeling. And he's so good at this. 
And uh, this soundtrack was written by Mikael. And he's more of, you know, this jazzy kind of guy. So I like how it works here with Renny. And uh, Philip did the organ, and uh, he has all sorts of credentials on this organ right. kind of stuff. I don't know, I'm not very much a musician. I'm not either, <laughs> trust me, I can't even sing a tune. Um, but, so but there are also voice actors that... I mean, hold on, let's go talk to Rob, or Robbie. Alright, let's go switch over to the game. Kind of quiet. Should I turn it up a little yeah, bit? Turn it up a, yeah, turn it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's. Let's do another one. Since I'm showcasing the voiceover, <laughs> I should, yeah. should have checked this. In the gates for Grandpa. I have my duties. Playing with you is not one of them. I don't know. I just love this character. <laughs> and I love how Rainy turned out too. Yeah. So basically, we're just starting to play for Rainy, and we have this uh, new feature that um, you see. I have with this. Oh, the hints. tasks. Yeah, the hint system. It it's uh, turned on right now. On uh, I mean, you can all they uh, upload pretty quickly, but I mean later they will have uh, a little time span on. So when you, you won't hover, be seeing them. When you hover over the character, you get options of how you want to interact with them? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, very, very much standard point and click. So that's how I'm playing it right now, not from the controller, from my mouse and the uh, keyboard. You don't really need a keyboard apart from options and stuff like that, but so it's basically mouse. Click, 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 click. Look at all your rigging anime. I love it. I'm to fix this uh, game. Thank you. Uh, my husband did. Really? Yeah. I want to help. Yeah. Okay. Can't. The rigging part, yes, and we did animation sense. together, I guess, because I mean, we have yeah. a motion capture suit. That's something that we got really lucky when uh, when we got it, because we actually backed a Kickstarter project for a neuron motion capture, uh -huh. and it was pretty cheap back then. Uh, I mean, because it was a Kickstarter, so we got this suit. Uh, and uh, we're st still using it. The first, the very first version, I think we're. Um, a part of first hundred backers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I feel, I'm feeling a part of history with them. Oh, no, no, no doubt. So let's, yeah. uh, as you walk around, look at the angles. I love that. Yeah. I'll check that and out. That's, and that's something else we did. Uh, you can take items from the inventory when you need to use them. So we get a little, you know, support in the beginning yeah. on how to, and that's uh, so that's how you can. Look. Hey, Rob said they need more game volume. On voices? Yeah, just probably in general, except for the music, because I think we got the music good. Okay, no problem. Yeah, crank that sound effects up. Okay. Yeah, we should have checked that. We forgot to check it. I'm sorry. That's okay. We got time. Okay. So let's just check this really quickly so we won't be losing more information. What are you doing? There we go. My existence. When I grow up, I will never ever use long words. How's that hey, Rob, is, does, does this sound good? He's got it. You got it. You nailed it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So is this going to be the demo before the release or? It's going to be a part of the demo this level and uh, the next one too. We're going to put two of them in and uh, that's the first two levels of the game. Okay. When When is that coming out? Uh, the game? No, we, the, de the demo. Oh, the demo. Soon. Very soon. As soon as we finish localization and we're... 
we just finished the actual um you know translation so right now we need to put everything in and uh, give it back to people who translated it so they can uh, see what they did right and where you know because it's difficult of, um, to go from english to for example french because they have uh, different genders uh, apart from not like in english i mean you don't have different endings in, and so, things like that and when you get this text in a file you don't necessarily see who's talking to whom Oh, so that's a right so that's a part of the job you need to put it back in and then give it back to the translators so they can see where they did everything whether or not they did everything right i'm sure that's pretty good because i mean we worked on this uh, in the process but there's just one thing that we that's left to do before we can uh, release the demo right. uh, because we don't want to have languages in there and we're going to have french spanish uh, italian we're going to have Russian and Dutch. We didn't say English. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you have to think about. I'm just kidding. I, this is one of my favorite characters. I'm going to hear oh, it. The yeah. big beard guy. Okay. Yeah. Can I go meet Grandpa? Not a chance. Stefan asked me to look after you until he gets back. But he is back. Do you see him here? No. Then he is not back. And Zip was left in charge of her. <laughs> He's obviously not too happy about it. He's kind of an old guy. It's hard to keep up with Renny. <laughs> what is this game anyway? It's boxing. Why? Boxing? When you have lots of boxes? Boxes? Of course not. Boxing is a noble sport. So this is oh, an this introducing is the mini games can within I the game, play? right? Right. So now we can uh, play the mini game. Test this game properly. Because we need to test it. And something cool about this mini game is actually it's um, from my childhood. I mean, my first uh, console was Atari game, and it had uh, those that boxing game. So I kind of uh, transferred it into 3D. So you'll see what it came up with. Well, that should grab some the retro fans' attention. Uh, I don't know if anyone remembers it apart from me. <laughs> I remember it. Oh, you remember it? Oh, see. Yeah. Use my helmet. Well, I don't know. It 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 has this feel. I mean, but it's it's not really the same thing. But I mean, okay. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, yeah, show. Sure. Okay, let's let's play. Let's play this mini game. Oh, it's lo loading screens. We can talk about this later. That's something else we did. That's quite unique. It, it was actually drawn by uh, real children. No and kidding. Then I, yeah, and then I worked on it a little bit, so in color, okay. And it's concentrate. Alright, now beat his, beat his butt. Oh. Because there is a puzzle to it. I mean, you can't just... You need to um, run up to him and beat him, and then run back. Yeah, because he's got and a whopper punch. Exactly, and uh, that's something that Zim is hinting at. If you uh, start failing, you need to do it I'm two or three times. Depends on how long you do it. Uh, that's so funny. I love so, that game. I love it too. I don't know. It just turned out so fun. <laughs> it was so difficult to adjust. I'm so happy we didn't do the fighting game. It just takes so much heat. Quality assistance, yeah, assurance, error. Oh my goodness. Okay. I managed to beat him. It was. Just give up already. It would be embarrassing, you know? <laughs> Just losing it your own game. Losing it your You're own game. You're losing your own game. You're losing I your am. mind. It happens. But yeah, this loading screen is, uh, I think. Uh, Dima drew this one. Now, did you op open that up to just your family or uh, outside the family? No, it was, uh, we, 
Yeah. First of all, we had it at, at Kickstarter, but it didn't uh, gain Please much popularity care. there. I don't know why, because I mean, I kind of thought that people would be interested in it. But I mean, I was happy to do it for free anyway, because it's it's so much fun. I mean, I love how creative kids are. Right. So yeah, we actually threw it on my Twitter and on Facebook and uh, whatever I could find. I think that we have a person from Reddit too. So, of course, I have an account there as well. And uh, some people, yeah, they they were interested and uh, they they sent us their picture, their children's pictures. So the way it worked, we uh, gave uh, children uh, a topic, and it sounded like uh, two robots are fighting for this one in particular. <laughs> so what and, happens uh, as you transition between areas? Oh, you want me to show you? Oh, you mean in uh, between rooms? or between uh, yeah can you move in the, is there different rooms within this level no this one is actually one room but if you uh we do have uh different rooms in one level and um you just go you know it, it she, she, she would go into the door uh, the screen would fade and then uh, go back into okay. a different room so you know you, you won't be getting a new loading screen Okay, so it's all transparent. What What is the goal in each level? Is it to beat the level and solve the puzzles? Or do, is it linear? Or is it going to be... Linear. Okay, it is linear? It's, okay. Yeah, it's linear, but it's a story. I mean, basically, Stefan is coming back from his journey. And um, you you would get that in a cut, in an in, in initial cutscene. I just cut it off for the time's sake. Um, and he needs to enter this dome, copy, and they all live, all, the, all those people, they live in the, these secluded environments, they are covered under domes, because there is an ongoing war, and if they would open up, they would be uh, destroyed. Okay. So he needs to get in, and uh, the person that's supposed to help him is Zim, but he is busy with this game, and now he's all upset because he's a sore loser, and uh, he he won't, he's not helping, he's not being very helpful at all. So now we, it's all up to Renny and she needs to let her grandfather in. Okay. But the um, overall goal is uh, for them to figure out what's going on uh, in this um, in this world covered right. with domes. And hopefully, of course... Uh, yeah, show some of the interaction. I love the interaction with the objects. That was a lot of work oh. that went into that. There are so many, uh, you know, <laughs> additional things that we did. I mean, not everyone knows, but we actually have games inside the game. <laughs> <laughs> Pong. <laughs> yeah, we have Pong. And it, gets so, it gets so ridiculously difficult. I've never beat this one, but uh, one of our testers, he did beat it. And uh, I applaud this uh, because <laughs> it gets very difficult very fast. <laughs> Is your paddle okay. getting smaller? It, it each level changes okay oh. let me just yeah it's different okay so did you, did you just shrink <laughs> i don't know how long you want me to play this because i, I am sure you guys can figure can I, check this out on your own i suck at pong <laughs> <laughs> and there's no one sucks at pong <laughs> So, <laughs> these are all the un unlocked objects? Uh, you can look... You, you see, that's uh, the, oh, hel the helmet tasks. that we got. Oh, that's right, and he gave you the helmet, so now you have to unlock all the different... Now you can see how it works here, and just... In the, and uh, that's a preview to uh, when we meet Mr. Bunny, and uh, Mr. Bunny is her favorite toy, of course. Of course. It is also a robot, not just a favorite toy. And uh, that's a, see, it's all. Um, it's not just screens, you know, just to know the world. I mean, they are clues to solving this big puzzle that we have. Right. So it won't, you won't get stuck. I mean, of course, we have hints, but if you don't want to use hints, by the way, you can um, turn uh, the option of hinting off completely, right? so you won't be having them. So this is another hint right here. I had a plan to capture Robbie. It is in my notebook. I marked a perfect location to connect to Robbie. Now where was it? 
Oh, that's really cool. Robots have a different control frequency. So I remember seeing that in frames when you did the mesh. Yeah. Yeah. That's how Zim explains it. It's nice to see the whole game, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I, I, this is the first time I've really seen it all put together. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, stealing his keys. <laughs> I found the key. Then lost it in his pocket. So we need to. Okay, you want. Uh, I should probably go, you know, in order because, I mean, you guys don't know what I'm doing because I. Obviously, I know how it's, this puzzle should be solved, but. I you, feel. Strangely uncomfortable being with you in one room. <laughs> oh no. He got away. I am not coming back until you take that thing off. I need to get Robbie to stay in the room. Okay, so that's why we need the key. Yeah. So what's that around you now, your feet? Is yeah, it's my field. Yeah, that's the, the helmet. helmet. Uh, it... <laughs> That's the field, uh, and uh, that's uh, something that we could see in the computer. Mm -hmm. it, it showed the field and the, how it works, and the, this um, little robot that uh, the vacuum cleaner guy... Oh, it won't work! Where's the... When he interferes oh. into the field, it just breaks the connection, so we need to... Um, the key says it's Robbie proof. Okay, so the key says it's Robbie proof, so will Robbie be able to... Okay, now we can get rid of the vacuum cleaner guy because he'll be interfering with the vacuum connection. Vacuum cleaners hate dirty floors. <laughs> so what resolutions does this support? Oh, uh, we... Two... We had two K people play 2K and... Okay. Just, you know... You, so I a... went. I went very safe with textures, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> They're like huge. So you don't need a supercomputer to run this. <laughs> you don't. You no. You really don't because I mean, uh, it will adjust. Yeah. Now is this Uni um, on Unity or is it Unreal? It is. You. Yeah. It's Unity, and uh, I've had people play it on a notebook. Wow. Yeah. It's it's a good notebook. I must admit, not something you know. Uh, not something old, but right. I mean, it is it is a three D three uh, D game, so it it does take you know well, the resources, right? Oh, right, and it is a pretty big project too. So, so how many? How would you? How long would you? This room holds all the knowledge of the world. Is the replay? Yeah. Is the, how long do you think the game time will take to beat the game? If someone, you know, spends time to do all the puzzles and... Oh, they won't have a choice, really, because, I mean, it's linear. <laughs> but uh, um, they will have a choice, though, as to how f how deep into the game they want to go. I mean, they don't have to look through all the screens, they don't have to look at all the walls, you know, and right. all those little conversations. So I would say long run of the game, probably, like, four four hours at least okay four hours i mean that's that's decent for a lot of games that's, like this yeah no i mean that that's long run a run i mean that's knowing what you're doing that's, that's exactly, like me right that's actually knowing everything you need to do and take four hours exactly that's me playing the game uh and uh skipping through dialogues right that's uh, that's how long it's gonna be i mean I, i'd say that for a random person i mean probably seven hours easy, easily easily okay I mean, I've had people play demo for two days, so... Oh, no and, kidding. And that, yeah, and that was supposed to be 40 minutes. <laughs> well, if they're like me, they like to check everything out. I like to experiment. I like that too, and uh, I mean, for people like you, you see, if I press tab button, that will sh highlight all the hot spots. Right. We have, uh, you know, you can... You can Zim's bedroom door is always locked. It's so hot. Oh, all those little things, you know, that you can look at, that you can check out. For example, this note. I mean, that's another clue. And you, 
you see that's uh, if you if you would be able if you won't if you'd be having trouble finding that key that's where it would be right we don't want to give too many spoilers away yeah so we're almost at the end here so let's uh, control robbing see how that goes at the end of level one at least Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so you're now actually controlling the robot. Yeah, and uh, you see, I just exited the um, area because I'm not standing on the, in the right spot. You see the X marks the spot. Mm -hmm. And that's what we should have gotten in the notebook. So I wanted to show this to you uh, as a, you know, As a part of why you need hints. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not again. Okay, so we um, entered the computer as Robbie. Yeah. And you you can see that we have a different interface. Now. Uh, for example, uh, that's, this one is locked. The, the library is different. Yeah. It's a dome diagram. So this is what I was talking about. You see the dome? That's like a physical dome. I mean, it's iron thing that covers the city. And that's a whole nother level. Uh, it's uh, the city. Yeah, we'll have that too. Yeah. Uh, so they, and uh, everything is written in, co in code. It, he's a robot. And uh, we go into lobby menu, and you can see we can adjust his stats. But oh, right now cool. we don't. Yeah, but right now we don't know what to adjust them to. So let's go see if we have a hint. Okay, here we go. Extraordinary intelligence. So that's probably IQ of 100, lore of 70, and luck of 40. That's apparently what we need to activate these gates of faith worm. So let's do this. So you see, I'm uh, something changes here. Oh, everything has a counter. Yeah. Uh, so I um, minus it here, and then it goes up here. And uh, obviously, you need to find the proper um, balance. Right. Yeah. So IQ 100, we remember. And what else was there? Um, lower of 70 and luck of 40. So we have luck here. The luck was supposed to be 40. Oh, I know a lot of people that will love this. Including me. I, you know, it did turn out to be a very fun game. Yeah. I like how... I mean, uh, I've, been, I've been playing it for uh, quite a few times, but... I still like it. Yeah, it's so hard this to, should. <laughs> yeah, you just clicked it. I heard it. Yeah, yeah. So now we have, you see, Gates of Faith. It's unlocked. Now, if you click it, it will uh, take it to take us to the next level. But we won't be going there because because yeah. that's uh, because I will have to reload the whole level because right now as we're testing it, we actually oh. have a little bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll go to the uh, nebulous. <laughs> yes, it, it it will. It will. I, I don't even know it, what it will do. It will probably show uh, the end of the level. Thank you for testing. Yeah. Something like this. So, but just, we, just to recap, when when can we expect the full the for the demo, and then the, the demo, full, and then the full release. Demo very soon, maybe next couple of weeks, couple of weeks, uh, something like this. Uh, the, uh, you see, we haven't. This is our first game, so we've never done this before. So I don't really know what to expect from localization. I mean, the best uh, scenario is like a week. Uh, the worst scenario maybe two weeks plus, okay. plus a little bit more. <laughs> right. Is that just going to be on Steam to begin with, or is that going to be what platforms? Uh, yes, Steam. Uh, that's definitely going to be on Steam. And uh, I can't promise GOG because I can't uh, con contact them. Really. Hmm. Okay, what about console? 
a console? No, not at this point, because I, we've been in development for uh, five years, mm -hmm. and uh, Unity did uh, jump uh, quite uh, far over this, and it's difficult to uh, export the two platforms right now. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bit after. Yeah. Because we, we need to do a lot of rewiring in the game for it to be uh, released on platforms. But we do want it to do it, but not particularly right now. Maybe sometimes after okay. the release on Steam. So the full title is Capia? Yeah. Yeah, it's that's it. That's it. We do we'll call it Funky Apocalyptic Adventure, but uh, the full title is Capia. <laughs> <laughs> So, any final thoughts you want to throw out there um, to the audience as they watch this video and the first uh, introduction of the game? Oh, guys, if if you like what we do, come and uh, join our media and uh, join Razor Edge, of course. Yeah, definitely because, follow uh, Anna on Twitter. She shows all the little previews, all the models she's working on. Uh, yeah. Every day there's a new little snippet of something she's working on. and um, I, I, have, I have been doing it daily. You know what? I was surprised. I actually have been doing uh, Twitter for almost three years now, and I haven't missed a day of updates. I know. I, I went back and looked. I think, of... you, I think you've been pretty good on your track record. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if it's normal, but that's how it's been. Well, I mean, once a day, considering some of us are a lot more than that, we won't go too far into that, but maybe some of us are more obsessed than others with Twitter. But, mm. um, yeah, I, I can't wait. More updating. Or updating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, if you, if you guys want to talk about anything, just, uh, you know, I would be would be happy to answer any questions and uh, I hope you like the demo and we've been working very hard on this game um, we put a lot of thought into it and uh, I think it turned out very good I'm glad I'm glad I'm, I'm really happy with what I, I see I didn't expect this much from our first game and I'm very 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 pleased right now the steam store well, is so the yes, Steam, Steam, Steam store is up, so we'll make sure we get a link in there for that, and they can put that on the follow and the wish list, and then get notified of all the updates. And uh, that and, would be perfect. And it's just been a pleasure to talk to you and tell your. The pleasure is all mine. And, and uh, it's always nice talking to you every time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you again for showing us this, and um, we'll see you at the probably after the release. We'll we'll do another interview and see how things are going. Great. I would love to. I would love to. That sounds good. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.